The Sailbook Layout screen is where you will lay out your sailbook. Here, you will place your creative direction pages, lots, and photos where you want them to go in your sailbook. When you first come to the sailbook layout screen, you will see your cover and any media or text files you attach to it from the creative direction screen. Your cover and back cover are already in place, but you will have to place any other creative direction page you created. To place a creative direction page, you must first drag a creative direction layout onto the page. Start by clicking on the layouts tab. Then, select Creative Direction from the Type drop-down. There are two different types of layouts, Lot Layouts and Creative Direction Layouts. On Lot Layouts, you place Lots, and on Creative Direction Layouts, you place Creative Direction Pages. After you have selected Creative Direction from the Type drop-down, hit Search to show the Creative Direction Layouts. Then, Drag the Creative Direction layout onto the page where you want your Creative Direction page to go. Then, go to the Creative Pages tab and drag your Creative Direction page onto the layout. You have now successfully placed a Creative Direction page onto your sailbook. Make sure to hit Save after every page. If you want to edit your Creative Direction page, you can do so from this screen by clicking the pencil icon in the top right corner of the Creative Direction page. You can also add a Creative Direction page from this screen by selecting the Add Creative Direction Page button near the top of the screen. To start by placing lots onto your sailbook, you will select Lot from the Type drop-down and hit Search. It will show you all the lot layouts that are currently available. You can use the arrows to click through and search through the layouts. If you do not see the layout you need, you can request a layout by hitting the Request Layout button or emailing your coordinator. An easy way to find the layout you need is to sort by how many placeholders you need. If you will have one photo and four lots, that requires five placeholders. Select five from the placeholders drop-down and hit Search. By doing that, you will only see the layouts that contain five placeholders. Once you find the layout that you are looking for, you will drag it onto the page you want it to go. Then, you can drag your lots into the spot they go and the lot photos into the spot they go. Make sure to hit save after every page. You will notice on the top, there is a tab for lot photos and a tab for filler photos. Lot photos will show all the photos you have attached to a lot, including if you used a placeholder back in lot details. Filler photos will show you the rest of the photos you uploaded that have yet to be attached to a lot. If you see a photo in the Filler Photos tab that belongs to a lot, you can attach it from this screen by clicking the pencil icon on the lot. That will show you the lot detail screen where you can add photos and cut lines and edit your footnotes. When in the Lot Photos tab, you can sort by lot so you only see the photos that were attached to that lot. If you have multiple placeholders attached to a lot, you can hover over the placeholder photo and it will show you the cut line for the placeholder so you can identify which placeholder is which. If you need to add or remove any pages, you can click Manage Pages from the top right row of buttons. Then, if you click Add from the top left row of buttons, you can drag and drop two pages into wherever you need them to go. Remember. Since pages must be added in multiples of four, you must add two spreads at a time. Once you have added all the pages you need, you can hit Save at the top right hand of the screen. To delete pages, you will click Delete from the top left row of buttons. There, you can select the spreads you want to delete. Remember, since pages must be added in multiples of four, they must also be deleted in multiples of four. You must delete two spreads at a time. Once you have deleted the spreads that you want to delete, you can hit Save at the top right hand of the screen. Note, you can only delete spreads that do not have any content placed on them. So, if you want to delete a spread but it has content on it, you will have to go to the layout and delete the content off the page and then go back to Manage Pages to delete the spread. In Manage Pages, you can click the Move button to move spreads around or the Copy Contents button to move page content from one page to another. If you have any instructions for a specific page, 
you can click the Instructions button for that page and type instructions or attach a file. You will place layouts, lots, photos, and creative direction pages until everything is where you want it to be in your cellbook. You must have every lot placed in order to click Done in the top right hand corner. When clicking Done, this will send your cellbook to the coordinator and let them know the cellbook is ready for production. Once you hit Submit, you will be locked out of the cellbook until it is pushed back to you for issue resolution or proofing. If you are finished for the moment laying out your cellbook but not finished completely, you do not hit the Done button in the top right hand corner. Make sure to save your pages and then you can just close out or you can click the back button next to the done button to take you back to the lot details screen.